In most cases, the content on each individual slide will be unique. There won't be a lot of repetition from one slide to the next, although there are obviously exceptions to this when it comes to certain types of content, but there's also an exception when it comes to header or footer information. For example, in some cases, you might want to put the page number onto your slides, especially if that slide presentation is going to be printed at some point. Let's take a look at how we can add headers and footers so that we can include common elements on every page of our presentations. It is possible to add header and footers individually to each page, but in most cases, you'll want to add header and footer information to all pages. Let's take a look at how it's done. Because I'm going to add header and footer information to every single page, it doesn't actually matter which page is selected. I could go to page 2 if I wanted to add a footer only to this page, but I'm going to add footer information to my entire presentation. But as you'll see, I'll skip the title page. But I don't have to worry about that right now. I'm simply going to go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and then I'll click the Header and Footer button in the Text section. That will bring up the header and footer dialog, and we can see the information that we're able to add to our slide pages. I can add date and time information, for example, and if I do so, I can choose whether I want that date to automatically update based on the current date, or if I want it to be fixed. In other words, when I present the actual presentation, do I want that date to show the date that I'm presenting, or do I want it to show a specific date? So I can choose Update Automatically or Fixed, depending on my preference. In this case, I'll leave the date and time off of my slides, but I do want to insert the slide number. That numbering format will be based on the theme that I'm currently using, and I also want to add a footer. In this case, I'll simply put Pinstripe Promotions. That happens to be the name of the company for which this presentation is being created. You also might mark your slides as being Company Confidential or other details that you'd like to include on each of the pages. And next, you'll notice that we have a checkbox for Don't Show on the title page. And this is a very common setting that you'll probably use when you include headers and footers, because you'll tend to want to have the title page be relatively clean, without a lot of extraneous information. So you'll more often than not probably exclude the headers and footers from that title page. It's worth noting, by the way, that we have separate controls for the headers or footers that we'll include on the notes and handouts. Notes and handouts are a separate option. We can add notes for each slide and then print out handouts that include the notes, for example. They create essentially a little bit more detailed version of our presentation. But in this case, I'm not worried about the handouts, and so I'll leave that as it is and just focus my attention on the slide tab. When I've finished establishing the settings for the header and footer, I'm going to click the Apply to All button. And this is important if you have not selected individual slides that you want to add header and footer information to. In this case, for example, I have only the title slide selected, and so I'm going to click Apply to All so that every single page in my presentation will have that header and footer information added to it. Of course, that means essentially one page. There are only two slides in my presentation, one of which is the title slide, and it therefore does not have the header and footer information added since I chose to exclude that information from the title slide. But if we go to slide two in our presentation, you'll see that right down at the bottom, I have the page number and the Pinstripe Promotions footer text that I added. Even better, if I insert a new slide, that slide will also have this information included. I'll go to the Home tab and then click New Slide, and I'll choose the Title and Content option for the layout, and you can see that new slide also includes the page number and the footer text that I added. So when you want to have consistent information from slide to slide, such as basic text or page numbering, and maybe even the date, you can take advantage of this simple-to-use and yet very powerful header and footer feature.